homeowners. Those are the qualified home buyers wanting your home right now. So the question is to the home buyers is, should you take advantage of these incredibly low interest rates or should you wait out this housing market, which is just really, really on fire right now and wait for more inventory so there will be a price decrease. Now, I want to mention here, every 1% that the interest rates do go up, you, the consumer, will lose 11 to 12% in your buying power. And that's just food for thought. And there is a greater likelihood of rates increasing rather than decreasing as the vaccination process progresses. Say that five times fast. So if you're thinking about buying a home right now, there's five things to consider. One is that you have a stable job. Two is you're comfortable with the payment. And number three, do not empty out all your accounts to put for a down payment. You can't, you don't do that. Matter of fact, the banks won't even let you do that. But you just do not want to empty out all your accounts because you still have to live. You still have to buy groceries even after you move into that house until you get paid again. And make sure that you work with somebody that you can trust and who surrounds himself with knowledge and experienced people such as their lenders, their brokers, and people they work with. So let's go ahead and take a look at the bigger picture where I'm gonna show you the numbers for LA County. And then I'm gonna break it down a little bit locally where I'll show you the numbers just for Long Beach City. Let's go. All right, so here we are in LA County. We're doing single family homes attached, both detached and attached. Now, total sales, we had 6,518 sales. When you looked at new listings, we had 4,610. Now that seems like a, like a lot of activity going on, okay? But it's really not. What this does, this, this leaves us with a one 0.9 month inventory of single family homes, both attached and detached for LA County. So this means it is definitely a seller's market there in LA County. And what this is doing, this is making multiple offer situations. So because there are such low inventory in so many home buyers out there, every home is receiving multiple offers and it is driving up the prices. Right now, the medium home price in LA County is at $830,000. And that is up 20% from last month when it was at $787,000. And when you put your house on the market, get ready to sell, because the only thing that's taking the amount of time is to review all the offers because the average days on market right now for a home in LA County is at 11. Okay, so now we showed you the bigger picture here. Let's check out a little more localized for Long Beach. Now in Long Beach, we had total closed sales of 238. All right, now we had new listings at 174 last month. That's not a whole lot of activity. But what this does, is this going to leave us with a 1.4 month supply. That's pretty low. Okay, again, this is driving up the prices because of the multiple offer situations. And right now, the average medium home price for a single family residence, both attached and detached, in Long Beach is at $787,000. And that is up 16% from last month when it was at $760,000. And again, when you do put your house on the market, what takes the longest is to review all the offers. The average days on market right now for a home in Long Beach is at eight. So homeowners, if you are thinking about selling your house, Right now, you have no competition, you will have multiple offers, and your house will sell within days. Now, home buyers, it depends on those four things that we had talked about earlier. One, do you have a stable job? Two, are you comfortable with the payments? And three, don't empty out all of your accounts. And four, you're working with somebody that you can trust and who's professional and surrounds themselves with people who are professional and experienced. Well then, yeah, go ahead and buy that home if 
you are planning on the long-term gain, meaning you are planning on staying in that home for a minimum of seven to 10 years. If you're looking to stay there for one or two years to move up, now is not the time to do that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informational. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below and I will get back to them. If you would like to see other detailed stats about any other things, let me know and I will run those specifically for you. Until next time, my name is Steve Arthur with Nationwide Real Estate Executives and you take care.